All right, welcome back again. Uh, so let's talk about the lab for this unit. Uh, so it's probably no shock to you what the lab's gonna be. Uh, we did uh, like movie quotes and, and like weather picks before. Uh, we're changing the name to Photo Bucket. That's kind of our new name for the old weather picks lab. Um, so it's gonna be a Photo Bucket lab uh, with endpoints. So it's a lot of the same things uh, that you've done um, with movie quotes, uh, just kind of practicing it again uh, and doing it with, with photos instead. Photos are really just uh, two strings, uh, so we're not doing anything with the blob store. We're not really worried about that yet. Uh, we just kind of want you to practice these skills of, of transferring a page over. We encourage you to try to work it without looking at your code um, as much as you can from, uh, from movie quotes, but we expect that you will. Uh, we do expect that you don't ever have the, move, the word movie or the word quote uh, anywhere, in your, anywhere in your work, right? Uh, so there's information in here. Uh, about what you need to do, uh, but let's just do a demo real quick. Uh, so your movie quotes is all done. Uh, you've got your, your, you know, your more button is implemented, uh, and then your auto scroll is also implemented. Uh, let's talk about photo bucket. Uh, so photo bucket will be similar in that you're going to have to add a bunch of data. Uh, so you're going to have to start with the code that we give you in the lab, um, and it will have an import data, uh, you know, trick that you can do as well. Uh, there's just a bunch of Rose Holman pictures that are in there. Um, <clears throat> pretty simple. Some of them are duplicates, so I'm not even worried about that. Um, but essentially what you need to do is you need to be using uh, Ajax for everything with your endpoints back end. So you'll have your API Explorer, which is just underscore AH API Explorer. Uh, since you're on localhost, you know, you'll have to do the load on safe scripts. Um, and you'll make your photos API uh, also with a delete and insert and a list. Um, and it's got a lot of the same concepts as we did with the movie quotes. It's just kind of practicing uh, doing these things again. I was a little lazy uh, that these all just say Rolls Holman image. Maybe I'll go in and I'll fix that someday, but right now they just all say Rolls Holman image. Uh, one thing that's slightly different is I found the, uh, the auto load on scroll annoying this time. Uh, so you have to press the button uh, this time around. Uh, so you have to press load more photos um, and just whenever you're at the bottom, you can say load more photos. For some reason with photos, I just kind of preferred that. Uh, and then the big thing is um, that uh, they're, they're all loaded. Uh, whenever you um, add another photo, so here I'll just add a, um, so I need an image URL. I'll just go get something. Uh, I decided to search for a uh, a diploma just for giggles. Uh, so this is a image URL that's already online. Uh, maybe you're thinking about diplomas. Uh, so I'll just say Rose Holman diploma. Uh, and then if you watch, uh, the page does not reload. Uh, it just adds it uh, and it's right there. Some of my UI could be a little bit better as it gets to narrow screens on this. Uh, it kind of goes a little crazy uh, with the caption sizes, um, but I'm really not, uh, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, you can also edit. Uh, so if I say Rolls Home and Diploma with many exclamation points, uh, I can also edit my photos. Um, and of course, delete photo works as well. Um, and again, the page never reloads because they're all using uh, endpoints uh, just like you would expect. All right, that's the lab. Uh, once you get the lab done, uh, deploy it, uh, and then there's this place to submit the lab. Uh, I guess the last thing I'll say, just kind of closing comments. Uh, so hopefully you've learned a lot more about Google Cloud endpoints once you finish the lab in this. Uh, the idea again is that we just made a web client for it, uh, but you could also make iOS clients or Android clients. Um, and it's just a really powerful tool for making JSON APIs. All right, that's all we got. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.